welcome to my channel. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. It's, uh, it's very nice. And uh, also thank you to all the people who has uh, watched uh, my movies. Um, today's turning is um, it's a marble uh, uh, lock and I want to try to do some ebonizing. Uh, I've never done ebonizing before, but I will uh, use a little different product than uh, normal. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, different ways to do it on uh, YouTube and uh, I will try and use some black shoe polish uh, instant dry uh, shoe polish. So let's see how that works out. I hope you will enjoy the, the little video here and um, please uh, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, if you like, uh, please uh, comment below. I've only been uh, using this uh, ball golf uh, for a couple of months now with the uh, grind I have on. I have uh, the Irish grind and a 60 degree angle with the uh, sweat back uh, wings, but uh, I like it very much and uh, I use it a lot now. It takes a little uh, getting used to, but uh, when when you have it, it's uh, very, uh, very worth time. So. I will use this in uh, a big part of my uh, projects. Yeah, I'm using my diamond parting tool of 5mm. To, uh, to make the tenon. I only have uh, jaws for two and a half inch, uh, so um, I really need to get some bigger ones, uh, 130, 100 millimeters uh, to do project saver. Um, and I had to do a little glue up with the CA because the lock had some cracks, uh, but that will come back and haunt me later. You see that in the video. <laughs> I started with the hollow ring, uh, but something on the outside of the bowl uh, catch my eye and the shape was uh, out of uh, sync or something, I don't know. But I decided to uh, to make uh, a little adjustment to the form of the outside. Uh, and I will uh, try to remember to uh, move the camera next time. Using even more CA here, and that will uh, give me uh, quite a lot extra work uh, later later on the process. But uh, as I said earlier, you will see that uh, when I start evenizing. I sanded the outside of the bowl and uh, made it ready for the ebonizing process. I 
I started to hollow out the bowl again, but decided uh, quite fast to stop because if the, um, the eponizing process didn't go as planned, I needed wood to uh, take off and uh, start over again. To not get the uh, shoe polish all over the uh, the chuck, I decided to uh, tape it up a bit, uh, so uh, I had, didn't have to to do a major clean up afterwards. Yeah, I'm starting the process with the eponizing with the quick drying shoe cream. Um, it's uh, quite simple, just uh, press it out of the tube. There's uh, a little patch of uh, some uh, rubbery stuff that uh, you just uh, move around and uh, the shoe polish will, uh, will come up. It uh, seems like it's uh, coloring quite good and it's, uh, it's going inside the wood, so uh, as, as of now it looks uh, pretty okay. If you look uh, carefully, you can uh, see the places where I used the CA, and uh, they are making white lines because the the ebonizing uh, shoe polish cream cannot uh, penetrate the CA glue. Turns out that the quick drying don't apply to uh, use on wood, so I had to uh, heat it up a little with my thumb. Uh, ended up sending off uh, all the urbanizing to uh, try and get rid of the CA glue lines. Here I'm going for a second try of the urbanizing. The lines from the CA has become uh, less visible, but they are still there, but uh, they are almost acceptable now. This was a test, so on the next one I know not to, to use CA glue. I'm starting up with the hollowing again and um, it became clear that uh, to do this you should not uh, have a piece of wood where some of the pith is still there. They are acting like straws and actually pull in the, the shoe polish uh, quite uh, deep in, inside the door. You will see that uh, later on in the video. I'm using my uh, half inch or 13 millimeters uh, pole gauge to uh, hollow out the pole. 
the goal is to uh, have uh, the sight uh, down to around five, five, six millimeters. Because the bowl is uh, still wet, it's uh, still around 30% moisture, and uh, I don't want it to wobble too much when it dries up, and I plan to finish turning it. Here I can start to see the shoe polish come to the sides and where the pith is and um, that was uh, not supposed to happen. So I definitely need to choose a different kind of uh, wood for, for the next uh, try of this. I'm using my uh, heavy negative brake scraper to uh, take out the last two marks and uh, clean out the ball. If you haven't tried a negative brake scraper before, I can definitely recommend it uh, compared to a normal scraper for this job. Because it's uh, not so aggressive and you don't uh, hardly ever get a catch with this. I've never tried to get a catch with, uh, with this type of scraper. After sanding the, the bowl, I normally use uh, denatured alcohol to take out uh, to take out all the dust and uh, to raise the grain a little. Um, then I use uh, cellulose sanding sealer, and uh, and after that I will uh, normally use uh, abrasive paste to uh, to get the last finish. And on this uh, bowl here, I will uh, use uh, beeswax uh, inside. On the outside, I will uh, finish off the ebonizing with the three, uh, three coats of uh, spray clear uh, lacquer. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss uh, future videos and please comment below that would uh, greatly help my channel grow. Stay safe out there and uh, have a great day.